Friends Podcast. Hi, I'm Diane Hunt. I am an impressionist realist painter connecting with nature through my brush. I work in oil paint and watercolor and I live in the countryside of Maryland's eastern shore, not far from the Chesapeake Bay. You can find me online at dianehuntstudio.com and on Facebook and Instagram at Diane Hunt Studio. Hi, I'm Constance Brosson of Steve Brosson's Jewelry Designs. I live in Oklahoma on a prairie, and I make uh, handmade jewelry in silver, copper, and brass. I'm an artist that paints. I paint pastels and in oil sometimes. Hello, this is Clyde J.K.L. I'm the host of this podcast, I am a emerging representational artist. I do historic rend- renderings, seascapes, landscapes, botanicals, birds, and whatnot. The tight illustrative hand in watercolor, pen and ink, and acrylic paints. And I live in Oklahoma City. once again it is monday october the 5th the first uh meeting for the month of october this is the artist friends podcast episode 65 my name is clyde j kale and i am here with my two best artist friends i was feeling a little bit better so she was able to join us this week hello yeah. hello constance hi clyde hi diane hello everybody hi constance hello clyde hello everyone Welcome back, Constance. We missed you last week. Yeah, I, I really would have rather been doing the, the podcast rather than doing what I was doing. <laughs> well, we managed to, uh, you know, squeak out a 30-minute podcast. Can you believe it, Diane? When I got down, I didn't realize we managed to talk that long. But uh, we was able to do it, but we sure did miss you, Constance, for your, you know, your insightful uh, input and everything. <laughs> this week, since the holidays are coming up, I thought we'd talk a little bit about uh, maybe set some goals, promise, uh, hold ourselves accountable to set some goals, and talk a little bit about uh, some we might some ideals uh, for some holiday marketing. You know, uh, original art is makes a fantastic gift, folks, for our non-artist listeners. Uh, hey, you've got three outstanding artists here that would be glad to do commission work for you. Plus, we have lots of artwork available for you to uh, purchase. So. Uh, to give to your uh, favorite uh, loved one or a special person. So uh, the videos was basically, in case we ran out of uh, other things to talk about, we could talk a little bit about the videos, but I think they were more inspirational and motivational to uh, keep us uh, working on our art uh, while we're doing all the other things uh, that need to be get done for uh, the holiday uh, preparation for our listeners. If you go to uh, www.talkartpodcast.com, uh, that's talkartpodcast.com, you'll see the uh, previous week's episode, the link for the previous week's episode, and uh, the uh, links for uh, some of our discussion videos. And uh, let's let Diane lead the conversation off. Diane, what the uh, what? Are you are you planning anything special for the holidays or? Um, not for the holidays specifically, but I have been working on some smaller paintings, and I'm I'm trying to get a series of twelve done because I was thinking about maybe doing a calendar. So we'll see if we get them done in time to get the calendars made. But <laughs> um, that's on my to do list. But um, that's a good idea. Yeah. What about yeah, you? I, Got anything that you're thinking about, or? Uh, no, I had, you know, just 
I just was um, going to start running some sales on the Etsy store to try and move some jewelry out, see if I can sell some jewelry. Things have, I've just been hearing crickets a lot lately. <laughs> but, hey, you well, know. A lot of people are tied up money, but when the holidays come, they always seem to come up with the with the funds, you know, to uh, buy that gift. And uh, artwork, original jewelry and original artwork makes uh, fantastic fantastic gifts. Uh, I've mm -hmm. started running on a regular basis on my internet radio station. I started running uh, promo ads for uh, people to uh, purchase either original works or uh, apparel and home decor items, you know, from my different sites. So uh, I'll keep, you know, that, keep pushing that. And uh, try to stay motivated and, and create art. And uh, you guys want to talk about set, commit to setting some goals? How about you, Diane? You got uh, made some goals for like the next week or this, or at least this month? Well, I, I, this past week I got a, quite a bit of painting done, actually. I think I was in this, I think I did three or four days worth of painting. Um, right. But I I do have to finish those, tw those 12 that I was talking about, and I wanted to start another large painting. So I was actually in my studio today, and I was going through stuff and sorting things out and making some more space because it seems like um, things get pushed aside and pile up on your desk and surfaces, you know, because <laughs> you would say, okay, I'll take care of that later, and it kind of stacks up. So I was going through all that stuff today and making more space and reorganizing. So that was a, it was a really productive day today. I got a lot done. Good, yeah. All right. You have such, uh, you know, busy life, other activities, so you, you don't get as much time to paint. I, I'm glad you was able to get into your studio for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it was nice. Constance, what about you? Uh, you got a goal in mind? Well, um, I want to go ahead and set up some sales to happen in the Etsy store up until up until you know the first of the after the first of the year. I'm going to try and do different sales each month, and maybe some you know to different kinds of jewelry have them on sale at different prices. So that's probably what I'll be doing with that. And then painting on the side and getting things listed on. Because I did a lot of paintings during the, the challenge. And as they dry and put a uh, varnish on them and put them in the uh, Daily Paintworks store. So Yeah, that was uh, for you folks that uh, didn't know. Uh, of course, she posted most of them on her Facebook page. But uh, she did a challenge this last month. Uh, she had to do a new painting uh, every day, right? Yeah, you're supposed to paint every day. I, at first, I didn't realize you didn't have to do a new painting every day. But I did try to do, I like to paint Ella Prima. So unless, you know, the next day I need to go back and see if I see something and correct it, you know. So, but um, I ended up with 29 paintings in 30 days. Yeah. They're small. But, but, you know, there was 29. I worked on one of them for two days. That is a new thing for you. you really. I mean, you know, you've in the past, past months, you've said, you know, I want to get back to oil paint. I want to, but you seem to never really dig into it. This was a good challenge for you. And congratulations on that. Yeah. Uh, it's good to get some brush mileage in. Yeah. So, yeah, it's tough to do that. It's tough to find, a, to do a painting every single day, get it posted. I mean, it doesn't sound like it's much, but it's a lot of work. It was that mentally, every single it, day. Yeah, it was mentally. I was. I didn't think I. I didn't think I would be exhausted afterwards, but I was. Ex, I was exhausted. So, yeah, because it's uh, mentally challenging. You know, to I, like you're gonna be, you're going to be offering some of those for sale, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to get the as soon as they dry, and I put a a DeMar varnish on them and, and I'll list them and that gets dry. I'll list them into the, uh, the daily paint works site. What's so, that, you know, what's that website address? That it's address? daily paint works. You just spell it out. Daily paint works all together.com. Okay. And so they'll be there. Type in your name and bring your, bring your page up then or. Yeah, it will. It will. I mean, actually, if you want to, you just type my name into Google and Google it and it will come up. But definitely, you know, that's where I have them at FASO, but I don't know if I'm going to keep FASO because to me, it's just kind of, I'm not all that, that savvy on that thing. 
I can't figure out half of the stuff that's there. So, uh, I've just daily paint works. is just easy. Yeah. So. Exactly. Um, in fact, I, I, I might be persuaded to, uh, maybe, uh, next month if I can come up with the money, uh, maybe consider, uh, checking it out and putting some of my stuff out there. Oh, well, you get your first month free. So. Okay. You know, it's not that bad. Check it. Check it out. Um, this is a good good point for us to take a break for a message, and then we'll be right back. Available at www.mpirshop.com are some unique design. Take a look at my work, and if you like my style, I could create a piece of artwork for you. Maybe you have that favorite pet that cat or a dog or boat, car, or maybe a truck, or maybe a house or a vacation spot designed by me. And they are at a very reasonable price, too. So please visit mpirshop.com. Please send your commission request to cjkl at signmystery-otr.com. That's cjkl at signmystery-otr.com. And let's create some beautiful art together. Again, mpirshop.com. That's www.mpirshop.com. Welcome back to the Artist Friends Podcast, episode 65 for Monday, October the 5th. And I'm here with Diane Hunt and Constance Bronson. And we are talking about, uh, we've set our goals. Oh, Oh, yeah, I didn't set mine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Clyde. I think I'm going. I'm going to uh, just continue. Uh, I'm on a roll for doing um, three to four watercolors uh, works a week, and since I went back to watercolors, but then I might uh, throw in a couple uh, acrylic oil paintings uh, the next couple of weeks. Get back to that. Uh, I took a break from oil paintings basically because I was I was starting to run out of oil paints and the, the medium that's required for it. And I didn't have the money to buy any more, so I didn't want to use it, use it up. But um, I think I'll uh, set that as a goal just to uh, continue doing some work. And uh, maybe if I can come up with the funds, maybe I'll do create some ads for uh, Facebook, run some Facebook ads, see, uh, see how that works out. Uh, I did that last year over the holiday period, and the sales was, was rather good. So, uh, well, that's good. I, I was. Uh, I got most. I got most of my sales from my uh, sites on, uh, on apparel pro- products and uh, home decor products from the, the different sites that I'm on. You know, Fine Art America, Redbubble, uh, Society Six, and ArtPal, and uh, they and Zazzle.com. And they all came about uh, during the uh, during this period during the from uh, October through January. So and. Uh, that was due to some Facebook ads that I, I ran last year. So uh, let's see if I can uh, dig up and, uh, you know, and, and uh, create some ads and run a few of those, see what happens. So that's, that's my, that's my goal for pretty much the month of October here to, to continue on creating some more art. And, uh, you know, I didn't, I was uh, reduced to, uh, you know, only doing one or two paintings, you know, uh, a week, but now I'm, uh, getting uh, more active and uh, I'm feeling the, uh, the inspiration. Thanks to my daughters. They send me some wonderful photographs and uh, that I use as a reference and uh, inspire me to uh, create a piece of artwork that uh, kind of reflects the uh, emotion that uh, they portray in their photographs. And uh, speaking of that, uh, motivation, get, stay in motivation. One of the videos I did you uh, enjoy the video, uh, the comments from Gary Vaynerchuk? We haven't uh, listened to him for a while. Uh, what do you think about Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, Diane? Um, he was talking about letting your ego ruin your career, <laughs> and he had a lot of good points. I mean, he was talking about how. Um, not to let yourself kind of get uppity and if you start having some progress, like don't, <laughs> don't think it's always going to be like that. Don't be, um, you know, remember where you came from kind of and 
mm -hmm. not to get too uh, wrapped up in all the exactly. stuff that might be happening. Yeah, if you have have a uh, a major success or a or achieve a major level, then don't let it uh, cloud your uh, your uh, ego or uh, uh, cloud your progress. I think, he was, yeah. I think he was talking to you, Diane, since uh, you <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I don't know that I get like that because it, it, I know from being doing this for so long that <clears throat> things come and go and, you know, you have highs and you have lows and it's like a, you're on a roller coaster all the time kind of. Mm -hmm. And so you kind of have to, um, you, you know that, you know, the good stuff comes but there's also down times so you kind of have to check yourself and, and <laughs> not get too well, attached to uh, the, the good stuff podcast distribu distribution network <laughs> I use for distributing uh, this podcast and others the numbers have just really really jumped so I know we have uh, quite a few new listeners so for those who missed it Diane what am I referring to tell us about what's recently happened <laughs> I was just accepted into the Oil Painters of America um, Eastern Regional Show that's going to be coming up um, in November. Um, well, November 20th to December 19th will be showing um, at a gallery down in South Carolina. So because of that, I've, I, had, I had to make a checklist of all the things that I have to do to prepare for that show. And so... I mean, I, just trying to get all that stuff done, I think it kind of um, brings you back down to earth a little bit. <laughs> like, I was really excited when I, I got in, so um, How many times it was that. And then it was like, okay, the next thing I had to start doing stuff, you know. <laughs> How many times have you tried to have you submitted artwork? In I don't know exactly, but I, it's somewhere around seven or something, somewhere around there, seven or eight times. About seven or eight yeah. years, you know, so – that's really a, a uh, you've had an excellent yeah. to keep and that's over the course of, you know, a couple of years or so. Yeah. To keep, yeah, keep trying. You know, so, and then, so whenever you, uh, you know, when you get rich and famous, just don't forget. <laughs> yeah, Clyde. Uh, I don't know if I'll get rich and famous from this because I, from, I have to send the painting down there ahead of time. So I have to pay for postage. I had a, order a um, box to put it in uh -huh. because otherwise you have to pay extra if you don't use one of those strong boxes that are made just for paintings. Yep. They, they have you pay extra because they have it's more complicated to unwrap it and to wrap it back up again if they have to send it back. So they charge you a fee. So I had to order a box, had to order a frame. Um, I have to write my bio. <laughs> It's like I have a, I have wrote a checklist trying to remember all these things that I have to do to prepare for this and it's it kind of uh I mean it's 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 really cool that I got in but there's also a lot of extra work that comes with it so it's you know very <laughs> uh, words of wisdom kind of kind of strikes home you know and, and <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know you know me and God, we're gonna, we're gonna tease you about this for a while, you know. <laughs> Don't get too uppity. Don't forget us. <laughs> archive these podcasts, and we'll remind you, right, Constance? <laughs> we'll bring her back to the earth, you know. <laughs> One of the other videos that uh, we recommended, I thought was really interesting, was from our friend Rafi, who uh, you know talked about uh, you know changing. Yeah, changing up your art career and, and trying different things and, you know, don't be afraid to, you know, don't get stuck in, we've talked about in previous podcasts about getting pigeonholed or stuck in a rut, you know, and uh, I, thought I think that's kind of, I think that's fairly common with artists. I think we're, we're all so inquisitive and um, we just like to learn things and try new materials and try, you know, this or that way of doing stuff. And I think it's kind of, um, in our DNA or whatever, yeah. when you're an artist, you, you're always trying different things. I mean, I went through all kinds of stuff. I still do all, all kinds of things, <laughs> but um, I try to keep my focus on painting. <laughs> but, but sometimes it's harder than others. You know, I see something yeah. 
that I want something new comes out or whatever, and I want to try it. You know, it's, it's, it's that creative side of you that just gets inquisitive about, oh, that looks like fun. I want to try yeah. that. <laughs> last three or four months you know i was hot with oil painting i was really into where i almost ran out of oil paint I was, you know, so at the same time when i noticed i was starting to to get low on my paints and didn't have the funds to buy any new ones because i, I don't use i don't buy i don't use the uh, walmart cheap oil paints folks i uh because uh in my small apartment studio apartment uh the uh paints with solvents in it would intoxicate me so i use the uh, with the walnut oil and the you know uh, natural uh solvents uh, paint so there's not a strong smell but those are expensive they cost a lot more than the old than the cheap uh walmart uh student grade paints these are professional level paints that i use and uh you know when it, when one tube of paint costs you anywhere from six to fifteen dollars <laughs> <laughs> some of them cost more than that <laughs> when you start buying the cad the cad colors they yeah. they'll run up to forty dollars for a small tube so, uh, yeah i had to use them sparingly but at the same time about the time when i noticed that i was also kind of getting wore out you know because oil painting is a little more messier than uh, watercolors or acrylics <laughs> i think that depends on the artist <laughs> it can be <laughs> I a I drop a brush and swap. <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got, I have that, that problem myself where my t-shirt thinks it's the canvas instead of the canvas. <laughs> I decided, okay, that's a new paint rag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, uh, <laughs> You know, big difference, big difference between you know watercolors and uh, you know acrylics and uh, oils. But uh, what what I found was it improved working with oils. Then it improved my uh, watercolors. So uh, you know, I'm glad to switch switch back and forth. And I uh, and it's part of what Raph was talking about. You know, things up, try things differently. You know, so I'm uh, uh, I have that. <laughs> to where I'm able to uh, just switch back and forth whatever strikes my mind you know because there are certain certain uh, subjects are better in oil than watercolor and vice versa certain subjects are better in watercolor than in oil so yeah it's, uh, it's nice to uh, yeah I discovered that I'm able to uh, switch back and forth another video that uh, Rafi also mentioned I thought was rather interesting and when I saw it I thought I thought about Diane and when he talked about, you know, why he he doesn't do painting tutorial <laughs> video, you know, and it because uh, Diane is is in a process of trying to set up to do a painting t tutorial, right? Didn't you say you were you're going to try your hand? At yeah, it? I'm 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 working on that a little bit. That then that what he was talking about was part of the issue I was having because I don't necessarily approach every painting the same way. So trying to teach somebody else how to do that, it's kind of, it's, at this point, it's kind of intuitive to, for me, and I don't really stop and think about how I go about it. it it's, I don't, you know, it's, it's more automatic now. I don't think about it so much. So I have to try to make myself go back to when I was learning what I was thinking about and, and try to... Um, figure that out better so it's it's a little tricky have you produced one yet or no <laughs> okay i've done some i've done some um well i was you know i've been experimenting with the cameras <laughs> that's a whole nother ball game but um i've done some um things like how to set up a palette and stuff like that but um I, mean, I was having an issue the other day i was i was recording one of the little paintings I was working on and the stupid <laughs> the stupid um camera that well, I have I was using my phone to record it and the darn thing kept turning off <laughs> it was driving me crazy and, you know I'd be painting away and then I realized the thing wasn't even recording and I was like oh crap so <laughs> that's bad <laughs> so frustrating you know there's like I had to keep stopping and trying to oh my god yeah it was not a good day <laughs> 
<laughs> and then then it died. The, the battery died. I, but I had it plugged in, so I don't know why it wasn't charging. But it's like, uh, it was just not a good day. So it's like, you know, just figuring all that stuff out, the technology part of it. It's just well, I can't imagine. Her. Last year, I uh, you know I did a couple of uh, time lapse uh, videos. <laughs> And I started using my phone. I have an Android phone, and I had the same problem. It would turn off on me, you know. Mm -hmm. So I've discovered that the camera that I use to photograph my uh, uh, artwork, uh, it also has a video option, and it doesn't turn off. So I was able to get a get some time lapse because I would record it in normal. <laughs> Then I'd go back with an editor, you know, and, and, and speed it up and edit out, you know, and add and add a voice track, you know, record a voice track in advance and then add that to it. And uh, then I turned out halfway decent. In fact, I, it is, it's a lot of work. It is all yeah, it's a time consuming. It's very time consuming. And that was another thing. Like, I don't usually, I'm not usually talking when I'm painting. So trying to, remember to do that <laughs> when you're working is, is hard. Like if you're not used to doing it and you feel like you're talking to yourself because there's nobody else there. So it's, it's kind of weird. It's like that camera. It has an option where it records the audio too, but I would, uh, the audio was, I'd pick up so many, uh, out outside noises that it was horrible. Mm -hmm. I decided to record a voice track afterwards and add to it in post-production. But when you do the, the voice track, you got to remember what to say as you're going. So Yeah, what you were doing at the time and how you were thinking about. And, yeah. I think I only did maybe three of them. And they, were, they took me forever, forever and ever to produce them. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's, that's what I've been doing, like experimenting, trying to figure out the best way to, to do the, all that. And that's not going to like, swamp me time wise you know trying to get it all done so that's that's something i've been dealing with uh, yeah i imagine after you do several of them and you get you'll get it down but it's just that getting that that going and figuring it all out without having hiccups and while you're doing it is, yeah yeah i did figure out that there is, there is a setting in your phone to keep it from turning off on you <laughs> but there wasn't yeah, until afterwards <laughs> I don't get Wi-Fi where my studio is, so I had to wait till I came back into the house to um, look it up. <laughs> but, yeah. You created a couple of videos, didn't you? I, I remember seeing them. You were making those uh, 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 fire uh, fire copper uh, pots. Yeah, you made a, you made a couple. Who me? Yes, I remember. Oh yeah, I was doing. Um, I set a cabochon. And I did a video while well, it wasn't a great one, but I did one. And then another one, I sometimes I'll do videos of the stuff right after I made that one uh, copper bowl. Yes, that's, that was the one I And I uh, did a video of it while I was turning it around still on the, on the thing right after I had put a painted a fl did flame painting on it. Yeah. But you haven't done any more since then. It, it, it's a lot of work, isn't it? You know? Yeah, it took me several days to make that bowl. <laughs> it's a lot <laughs> and, it, you know, it's a lot of hammering with a palm team hammer to get it to go the way you want it to. And it's not an easy chore. Because yeah. when you're hitting, striking metal on metal, then, you know, it, it just it takes a lot. of t It takes time. And then, you know, it's your arms get sore. Yeah. So, yeah. Those you know, what Rafi said, because, uh, you know, I guess several of his followers have uh, sent him email asking him to do tutorials. But, like, he's, he's kind of like you, Diane. He, uh, a painting just starts, and he, he it wouldn't be a very good tutorial because he just kind of <laughs> works. Well, he's not a, apparently not a method painter. You know, some people are method painters. They have a method that they go through each time that they paint in different stages until it gets toward the end. But if you're not a method painter, like, you know, Bob Ross is a method painter, and there's other people who are who use a method to paint every time that they paint. And then that way, you know, that is, you know, something you can learn from. It's other people's process. Well, but if you don't have a process, then it's kind of hard to, to take a film of doing something like that and posting it. Like the course from Vital Life from uh, Kelly Folsom, you know, she's uh, mm -hmm. 
therapy is a, has a definite method, a definite process for each pain. Mm -hmm. And uh, her videos, in fact, when I inter signed up for that course, and of course, you know, she, you know, had her videos watched. I wasn't real, real enthused because all the videos I've watched on YouTube, I'm just not excited watching somebody paint. I just don't, it, it becomes very boring to me. But Kelly's uh, was very instructive and very uh, informative. And, you know, they're not real long, you know, for the course. So, uh, you know, uh, next time she has her open and room, <laughs> I'd recommend people would say, uh, what, Vital? Because she does it, uh, Vital Art Sessions or Art Life with Kelly. Art Life she, she has a, a, a period of time each quarter that she lets new people in so that people aren't always being new I had to all the time. I had to drop off uh, because I, uh, I couldn't come up with the money to uh, pay uh, this much tuition. So I'll come back to her next quarter when the next quarter opens up, you know, which will be in the, yeah, after the new year. You know, yeah. So, yeah. Well. So yeah, and now that I know what it is, you know, what she offers, you know, and then I, you know, I'll sign up for next quarter and, and catch up to all, cause all the videos are archived, you know, she has 300 some, right. you know, so I can catch up then, but, uh, I learned quite a bit. I learned a lot from, from her sessions and, uh, but getting back to, uh, creating, you know, tutorial videos, uh, her, she's one of the few exceptions, you know, she's very experienced at that and very good. But you watch a lot of these videos on YouTube and how to paint. And, you know, when I started this art journey, getting, getting back into creating art, I, that's what I did. I started watching videos on YouTube. And uh, I picked up some things on, on how to uh, use, uh, you know, basically uh, reminding myself of things I had learned years ago. But, uh, you know, I picked up some new, some new tips. But for the most part, I don't hardly watch them anymore because it's kind of boring to watch somebody paint. Because you know? <laughs> at the same time, I have my own style. I have my own method. I don't want to necessarily, you know, copy them. Another that leads us into the uh, podcast from Stephen Bauman. We talk about, you know, uh, concept, you know, painting your concept. And uh, uh, Diane, did you did you pick up anything from – agree or disagree with what he was talking about i, I mean i kind of i i myself kind of do that anyway i guess because i i've painted i've been painting for so long i know what my um focus is as far as my um you know like i do all nature paintings so then my that's where my focus is and that's my um concept i guess is to relay that to the people that are looking at my paintings to make that connection. Um, so, but all, all pretty much all my paintings are like that. So yeah, I, I think it is um, helpful to have that because it does give it, your passion comes through the paintings. If you have something that something you really care about and that's what something he was talking about how um, I mean, I can, without other kind of paintings but I, i'm not my passion's not there so they don't have that same feel to them yep yeah and you can you can see it and people I, I mean i can see it i guess the other people can too or can feel it whichever and um yeah i think that's valid what about you Tom? you uh you... um <clears throat> uh, yeah i like to have a concept when I'm going into a painting and I usually think about, you know, the color theory that I'm going to use in the placement, if it's a still life, the placement of the items and figuring out where this, like Kelly, I call the star of the show or the focal point, you know, so, and, uh, you know, not every painting turns out properly, but as well, you know, if you're always thinking, well, I could have done better with that. And that's the rappy thing, getting inside your own head, you know. <laughs> and, uh, but you just have to, okay, just go, all right, the next one will be better. And just, you're just learning to paint, you know, always learning to paint. One of the, one of the, uh, one of his videos or podcasts, you know, discussions, he, Stephen Bauman did say that, uh, the painting you're working on now is, getting studying and getting ready 
for the next painting. Right. You know, so he said, you're always, you know, you know, if you are making progress, that's what you should be doing. You know, you, you're, you, when you get done, the problems that you encounter and the, and the solutions you come up with will then carry over into the next painting. And, uh, mm-hmm. and that's how your notes are making progress. And that is so true, Constance. I saw that with all these, those 29 paintings that you did this last month. Each one was getting better and better. It really was. Like that last one you did of the, uh, uh, what was it, carrots in a jar? Yeah. <laughs> a, can, a jar of canned carrots, yeah. That was a mason jar. My mouth water. I mean, I could taste, <laughs> taste those carrots, you know. And then you did one of the tomatoes, you know, sliced tomatoes. Oh, yeah. Those sliced tomatoes turned out really good. I like the cucumber jar that I did, too. I did um, – dill pickles canned dill pickles or i think i forget what i named it but i like that one better than i like the carrot one oh, carrot. Uh, mouth water i want i, I want to some- open that jar of <laughs> carrots and eat it <laughs> that's the whole idea <laughs> oh. and passion and pain that's that's you you did it you brought it you brought it through you know and and uh so uh, I hope some of our viewers can get an opportunity to uh, to look at some of those, uh, you know, look at some of uh, Constance Payne's. Go to, uh, what's that website again, Daily? Daily Paintworks, but they're already posted on Instagram um, and Facebook. So if you go there, you can see my work there because they're not, they're, I got to wait until they, I have to wait until they dry and I, uh, Put a varnish on them, and then I can put them on daily paint works. What's your uh, Instagram uh, account? One A B A M B I A. Okay. But if you type my name, it'll probably come up if you type your name in. Type the name in. Okay. So we can. So, some of our uh, listeners can uh, check. Yeah, Constance Brosnan. Okay, I think that's about enough for this podcast. We went a little bit longer than I uh, originally intended, but of course, we get a jabbering, and uh, that's <laughs> what artist friends do. You know, we talk about art. We try to keep a little focus for our listeners so they don't uh, just hear us jabbering about art. And I know we have other artists that are listeners, and we have uh, maybe and folks that love art that are listeners, and the numbers are increasing. Please, folks, wherever you hear this podcast, give us a thumbs up. Give us a, a five-star rating and uh, send us some comments. Maybe there's a particular subject that you would like to hear us talk about more. And uh, send me an email, cjkl at sign mystery-otr.com. That's cjkl at sign mystery-otr.com. And in a subject, put, just put AFP. And then whatever you want to, talk, you know, your suggestion. We'll be glad to uh, look it up and uh, discuss it in our next episode. So I'm going to say bye-bye to Diane and Constance. And I'll let Diane say bye to everybody. Good night, everyone. Good night, Clyde. Good night, Constance. Good night, Diane. Good night, Clyde. Good night, everybody. Thanks for listening. Good night, folks. Thank you so much for listening. The Artist Friends Podcast is produced and edited by Clyde J. Kale. Participating artists, Diane Hunt and Constance Bronson and Clyde J. Kale. You can find more information about Diane Hunt at www.dianehuntstudio.com. Constance Bronson at www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash c-b-r-o-s-n-a-n-s Clyde J. Kale at www.cjkaleartworks.com If you would like to participate or appear as a guest on the Artist Friends Podcast please email cjkale at sign mystery-otr.com If you enjoy these podcasts, please give us a thumbs up or star rating. And most of all, send us your comments. 
This podcast is issued under the Creative Commons license.